Landing in ER-2, NASA's civilian version of the Air Force's high-altitude U-2S plane, can be tricky. Its wings give the aircraft glider-like qualities, making it sensitive to crosswinds. The ascent and descent rates are fast and steep. And since its pilot must remain in a pressure suit, sometimes for a long period of time, even normal operations inside the ER-2 can be difficult. It's hard for him to judge altitude in this particular aircraft, and he has to actually stall the aircraft on every landing. So the plane has to be in a full stall. I'm basically his, uh, I'm his co-pilot, basically in the car. That's where the agency's recently acquired Dodge Charger safety chase car comes into play. The specially designed vehicle driven by an experienced ER2 pilot, also called mobile pilot, charges down the runway at high speeds as the driver calls out data to the ER2 pilot. Things like distance in feet to the runway, taxiing details, and any other critical information to help facilitate a smooth and safe landing. That's about 20th and T. There's 10, 8, 6, 4, 4, 3, 2, little right rudder, 1, little right rudder, inches. The Air Force has a history of relying on chase vehicles for landing safety. Following their lead, Dryden's Airborne Science Program has leased the government-owned charger for five years, and managers say the car has added an extra value of safety to ER2 flight operations. Thank <laughs> you.